What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. Oh my goodness, hold up. Guys, what is good today? Um, You know what to do. Guys, listen. The market has crashed, but before I get into the crash, drop 10K in the comments. Whatever you want in the comments, like the vid, sub if you're new. 100 likes on the vid, 10K is given to a random sub, whoever comments. So, that's it. Guys, if you did not watch the freaking pack opening, go ahead and watch it. Because whew, the pack opening was fire. Unbelievable, actually. Just go watch it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Next up, your boy Bugs has been thriving. And you know why? Because it's market crash time. And what does Bugs do? Bugs grinds the auction. And right now, it is time to pick up investments. As you can see, I picked up Machado. As you can see, I'm picking up another one because, oh boy, this is what happened. So the stub sale is gone. New players have entered the game and goodbye auction. The market crash is here. It is time to make a ton of stubs and what to do, who to buy, how to make stubs off of this. I'm going to go over all the players you should buy because I buy about the same players every single week every single week um this is the time you want to invest in players golds bronzes silvers this is the time you want to thrive pete alonzo is going to be a gold next week super excited for that budget squad gameplay on the stream very soon first off all right let's go machado is definite buy machado i bought him um i heard chris bryant was very cheap i think i have two of him already oh he's not even that cheap okay no 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 19k is good I already have two. You know what? We'll, we'll lay off. So, Chris Bryant for 90K is pretty good. Especially the way he's been playing. Uh, who's this? Travis Haver. I love this guy. Um, Let's keep going. Okay. So, Mookie Betts is 53K. That's cheap. Okay. Honestly, to, to make stubs right now. Okay. Ryu at 23K. That is a snag daddy. Um, We could literally make stubs off him now. I'm buying that. He's literally out of packs. You can't even get him anyway. Besides, like, solos. But most people did them already devers at 33k is really cheap um do i have enough i do have enough i will be buying another devers i think i have one already i do okay so guys altuve is cheap i'm gonna go over every single player you should buy what you should do to make stubs okay we're gonna go over the diamonds first most diamonds are extremely cheap as you can see this tim anderson sell now is Dude, he was 70k. I sold him last week for 70k. He is 55, 45k sell now. Listen, everybody's buy now on old player to month cards and player to month cards now is huge gaps. This is the time you want to make stubs off anything. This is the time to buy as many players as you can. I told you guys to sell your sell your diamonds now instead of selling your you sold your diamonds. If you listen to me, you sold your diamonds. You kept your investments. Now, if you have 100k stubs, you could literally double that right now. So. So right now, for people who have like 100k stubs, I would say go buy Tim Anderson and flip him right now. Get rid of him. Get those stubs. Get those extra 5k stubs. Flip them. Um, we got a ton of stubs. We got, let's see. I'm going to go over every single player. Lindor is not a good buy. He's too expensive. Uh, Gleyber Torres at 32. Do I have him still? Do I have him up there? I do. I got to take him off. And oh, mine was the cheapest. He just didn't sell. I'm selling mine because I got him for really cheap. Okay. Okay, so Glaber Torres is not a bad buy now. Okay, Bellinger at 17k. He was 23 yesterday or two days ago. Highly recommend that card. Austin Riley is 15k. If I get enough stubs, I will probably be buying five. Holy crap, that's really cheap. Freddie Freeman went down 10k. He was 45k. He is top five in baseball over the last month. This is a very good investment. This is a way to make stubs. 33k. You're not gonna see Freeman at this price for a freaking long, long time. Let me tell you. Um, I highly recommend him. Uh, Hector Neris at 24k is a very good price as well. Uh, recommendation, yo. I lost so many stubs off this dude. Holy crap, man! I took the fattest L. I literally lost 80k on him. But right now for 24k. In about a week when the auction goes up again, you're going to make so many stubs. I would say Sunday, Monday, he'll probably go up 10K. So Hector Nearest is a good buy. Verlander, I just got him. I'm waiting. All the players I bought, you have to wait. You never sell them right away, ever. 
You must take bugs seriously. This is very serious. This is how you make stubs in the game. You have stubs, you make stubs. That's it. You start off with stubs, you make stubs. That is it. If you don't have stubs, check out one of my older videos on how to make stubs. It's that simple. Hater is down. Bregman is down. These players are down. If you guys get all these players and they drop a stub sale, which honestly they've been dropping quite frequently. In my opinion, they're going to probably drop a stub sale in the beginning of July. Maybe a July 4th something. I feel like a stub sale is coming soon. If you guys could pick up all these players and they drop a stub sale, pick up these players. If they don't go up that much, hold them until a stub sale. You will make five, you'll make 200,000 stubs easy. If you pick up Machado right now for 30K and there's a stub sale that drops, you're literally rich. You're Donald Trump, okay? That simple. Edwin Diaz at 21K. 30K the whole week, 21K now, 9K difference. Go snag them. You can make stubs off them now. Just listen, okay. All the goodbyes. Kluber's not a goodbye. Braun's not a goodbye. Not a goodbye. Judge, 27k, no. Chapman's not good. So all those players I show you so far. Bias at 30k is very good. Even though he has a heel problem, he's still doing pretty decent. Stat at 21k, nah. Chapman, no. Goldschmidt, 21, no. Okuna, okay. 66 for Okuna is not that bad. It's not that bad. I would pick him up. But honestly, my favorite investment is Machado. At 30k is very, very, very cheap. Let's see. I can't wait to get to the gold cards, all the investment cards. Rizzo is cheap, 6k. I'm about. To, I, I I have so many of him. I can't stand Rizzo, in my opinion. He's trash in this game. Um, JD Martinez, 18k. Oh, whoa, that's a freaking snag. All right. If I had enough stubs, I'll buy this 15,700. JD Martinez, that is a snag. He's still tearing it up. Story at 38. His edge is down. If you see edge down and you see price down, buy. I already have what 20. I 20. I'm not buying them. If he goes diamond, they're getting sold. Story's a good buy. Granky's a good buy right now. 84. One away from diamond. I want to see Trey Turner. That's what I'm curious about. Very curious about Trey Turner. Jose Ramirez is not a bad buy at 3K. Okay. Listen, his price went up 1,500 stubs over the last week. Very, I, I told you guys to invest in him probably two, three weeks ago. Listen, I have 10. He's going to go up to a minimum 5K if he turns diamond. Right now, the way he's playing, he's going to turn diamond. Very good investment. You guys got to make stubs now. now. It's now or never. This is like the biggest market crash I've seen in a while. This, you guys have to buy. Like, if you're watching this, all the players I showed you, you have the stubs, go buy them. You're going to make stubs. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about, bro. Believe me. Um, Freaking, we got... Kirby Yates, 2,200 stubs, you know, I have six, I will gladly pick up another one, and listen, he literally plays in my bullpen, I have all dime pitchers, I use him because he's, he's so good for me, I don't know why, he's like glitchy, um, but yeah, we got hands, hands are good investments, one of the top clothes in the league, top five, easily, he's playing amazing right now, He's really good. His ERA is like a .9 or something crazy like that. Um, Trevor Bauer is very good. He pitched a complete game. Shout out last start. Let's see. Ozuna. No, 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 no. Xander's a very good investment. 2,000 stubs. All these players, y'all, if you wait weeks, you'll make a ton of stubs. Um, but yeah, recap of the diamonds. So my top diamonds to invest in right now. I'm going to say JD Martinez at 15K. You'll never see this guy at 15K ever again. JD Mainis, freaking Machado, and freaking Javier Baez. Um, and I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. First off, right now, Machado over the last two weeks has been on an absolute tear. Machado, when he gets hot, he gets super hot and he stays like that for the season. Uh, his momentum is shifting in San Diego. He's freaking a beast. First of all, he got downgraded recently. He's gonna get upgraded again, and his price is gonna go up so much. Listen, he was 55k before the downgrade. That is a 22k difference. Listen, I need this card on my. I need him. First of all, I just want to play with him because I'm a big fan of Machado. And second of all, you're just gonna make a ton of stubs if you just listen to me. So Machado is definitely a top. Diaz is a freaking top too. 21k, that's cheap. Uh, Baez, definitely a top. And honestly, that's all I really got. Just all those diamonds that I mentioned, go ahead and snag them and you'll make stubs. Every week, realistically, Baez and Machado go down. I don't know what's good with the prices, but it's, it's them every week. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Stay tuned for a video tomorrow. Second video today. Go watch the pack opening. We pulled fire again and made stubs off it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.